Yeah, we're live. All right, what's up, everyone? I'm Jay Wall. Print that thing. And today we are going to be making a gangsta necklace requested by Lucas Martisius. But thank you for the suggestion, and we're going to jump right in it. So I'm thinking we can look at some. You know, these are just inspirations. So you've got the the thick loops. What kind of necklace do we want to make? That is the question. I'm just going to jump in it, and I'm just kind of guessing right now. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Let's just try a skinnier. I feel like 30 that way is gonna be, we'll do 15 since it's half a 30. Let's go to three again, you know? Let's just keep the, let's just keep the three going. Three, three, 30 by three, you know, just the number three. Now, I'm gonna hit D, drop it to the ground. So we're gonna turn it, just tilt it 45 degrees. Now, option, rotate, 180 exactly. And then now we can just slide them down. Yeah, I'm gonna shift click on both option drag and then shift click on those option drag now We got a chain. I'm just gonna make a bunch of rings. I'm gonna option click that one I'm just gonna kind of try some stuff and I'm gonna hold option drag 90 degrees There we go. Oh, 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 I'm just trying to get it to not touch We got to keep them on the same plane so that they'll print. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go Yep, let me just rotate them a little Let me just use our mouse. I mean our uh arrows as we look around i think we got it don't be afraid to get up in there if you need to you know you gotta like really check this stuff out right here oh we're good look at that separation so see how it's like floating right here that one is not though is he because they are floating like clouds so i hit d now we've got an issue here Ooh, i don't know oh 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 maybe lean it a little more all right here i'm gonna go ahead and bring in a medallion and you could like make a star your medallion, put a loop on it. I mean, it's really up to you. You could do a star with diamonds on it. If you're a chick, you could do like a, a heart. Or if you're a dude and you just want a heart, you want a heart uh, medallion or a star heart medallion with a diamond. We gotta use that one. I'm gonna draw a box around all those. Uh, medallion, I'm gonna make it 30. So now my snaps are at one, hold shift. I'm gonna take that out to 30. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's gonna be our medallion. Look, you could even make a Tinkercad. Keep it all generic at the 30. We got a Tinkercad chain right here. You can go to import on this. Import, choose file, bring in something from Thingiverse, and then you hit import. Sometimes you have to scale it, sometimes you don't. We got the PTT logo. So this could be anything, right? You could pull this from the interwebs, the World Wide Web. I like whenever I'm rotating to uh, just keep everything nice and flat. Unless you don't want to, then just do whatever you want. Taurus Thin, let's do another one at 30. I'm just holding shift to keep it constrained. Boom, now we got like this cool print that thing medallion. So really you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do one more because why not? This is my show. <laughs> Go to Thingiverse. Just need a STL, right? Right guys? Looking for, yeah, this. I was thinking this could be a cool ball in a box. Put that as a medallion. So then I just hit download and you want to go into Tinkercad, choose file, go to your downloads folder. Yeah, all right, cool. So yeah, now we're just gonna keep making some keychains. I'm just gonna steal this whole strip. Put on your, you know, just put on some good music. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe I can just copy this corner piece. This will just be our corner piece. And then rotate that around. Cool, makes it work. Now, get all these. Option, rotate, uh, 90. So the trick is just don't let them touch. That's it. I'm trying to go, you know, no support. Two, one sec. Two more, so I'm just gonna hold option. Leave our corner piece again, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, that's insane, yes. All right, so you can make the string as long as you want. I'm just gonna go to the moon, you know, I just wanna see. I'm gonna just fill up this whole, this whole little grid right here. I'm gonna copy and paste all these. Just shift clicking on all that. Option drag, and then get that one to fit there. Option, control to look around. That's gonna be pretty good, I think. And that should do it. But I'm gonna do one last thing before. I'm gonna put a little, say if you, uh, you know, you want a new medallion every for every day of the week, then you can do that with this technique. So just like make a little wedge and then turn it into a hole. It just has to be just a little bit. Like it could actually be the smaller, the better. We just need like a separation so we can boil it and then we can slide the ring medallions on. And notice we want to make us cut all the way through. Option rotate 90 degrees. Bring that on this one. Make sure it's not hitting anything else. Shift click we need all four of these, and then I'm gonna group them. And now we've got these tiny little splits, and that's what we want. I'm gonna hit all these D, 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 D for down. I'm gonna bring in a cube, turn it into a hole. What I'm doing, I'm just gonna cut a little bitty, little bitty piece of the 
bottoms of everything. You see how it's starting to go dark? That's what we want. Because that's going to give us some surface area on the print bed and help these little guys, especially these chains, stay put whenever it's building at that 45 or steeper incline. And see how these rings, it gives the rings a little bit of flat bottom so that it can really stick to the bed. So now we're going to say Command A. Group all that. Oh, it did it. Oh my gosh. All right. So Tinkercad just upped it in my game. Oh no. So something here we had an issue. See how we've got the big gaps right here. You can see that it's going through it right there. See this big dark spot. So I'm just going to bring them up for that on some. Oh yeah. There's some over there. We want some dark spot. We want a little bit, but not eat through the whole thing. Anything that just looks like it has too much dark spot. Just pull them up a smidge. Let's get this ready so we can 3D print it. I want to check my check my edges so we don't have any touching. I feel like everything's in a good spot. I'm going to click on this floor that I've made right here and make sure it's turned into a hole. Command A to select everything. Hit group. The floor will disappear. Mm -hmm. See how it all changed one color? We flattened it. Everything's on the same plane. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to save this. Go design. Download for 3D printing. The fifth option. Then you want to hit the first option, STL. But uh, believe me, that's Oh, can't believe it worked. Would love to see y'all's chain if y'all make something. This is pretty long, but I kind of like that it's a gangster 3D printed chain. Change it out to uh, any medallion you want. You know, you can paint these, spray paint them, do whatever you, whatever you need to do. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned some or how to design for 3D printing. Yeah, spray paint this gold or silver. Gold. Peace. Happy printing.